Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook and Twitter, and today we're going to compare Vegas Pro 14 and Vegas Pro 15. Now, Vegas Pro 14 is made by Sony, and Vegas Pro 15 is made by Magix. So the interfaces look different from each other. However, that's not what we're going to be comparing. We're comparing the rendering capabilities between the two. Now, NVIDIA is not compatible with Sony Vegas Pro 14. I would show you the rendering capabilities of NVIDIA, but it continues to crash. And since I use this program all the time to render my stuff, I'm not going to change it from AMD to NVIDIA because it continues to do a, a crash loop over and over again. And I won't be able to recover from it. It's a major problem to reset it. So... Um, I mean, I could do it, but it's just a pain in the neck. So anyway, so let's go into the meat and potatoes of Sony Vegas. So right now, GPU acceleration of video processing is set for AMD for version 14. We're leaving it like this, okay? I have a temporary, I have a video that I did a while ago, uh, a couple, couple of days ago. This happens to be the pure sine wave versus stepped. Uh, video that I did and we're using this as our benchmark it is exactly four minutes and 29 seconds and change and we're using this our as our bench test for this particular video so now if I go into file render as and I'm going to show you what I'm using as my encoder I'm using the well let me show you the Sony AVC MVC encoder. I happen to like this one, so don't complain, please. <laughs> I have it maxed out to eight slices, and my bit rate is the highest it could be, so it's almost 26 million, okay? And that's what I have it set for. And this is what I use for all my videos, and it works great, it looks beautiful, and this is what I've been using, all right? So I'm using the same template on the other piece of software, which we'll show you. So let's render this. So we're going to change the name of this to AMD Render. Uh, dash open CL. We're not using the file name. I'm just naming it that. As you can see, I have other templates here too. I have quite a few of them. But there they are. So we're using this particular one because it's 1080p at 29.97 frames per second and that's that so let's go let's get to it so we'll see how long this render takes most likely I'll speed it up at this point okay so as you can see it took two minutes and 46 seconds to render that particular video now remember it's important to know that this is a four minute and 29 second video so we rendered faster than if we watched it so that's pretty in, that's pretty incredible that's unheard of thankfully I have a thread ripper and that's the main reason why I bought it is for that purpose it used to take me like this four minute video would probably render like in 12 minutes on a, my 3770k so all right so let's take a look at so let's Let's take note of that, that it's 2 minutes and 46 seconds. So let's close out of this and go into, let's bring over Magix Vegas Pro 15. Now, let's look at this one. Video. AMD. This particular program I actually can show you in NVIDIA because it used to crash and for some reason it's not crashing now, which is great. So I have this set for uh, AMD as well. All right. Uh, we go into the rendering options here. And it's the same one. That's the, the identical. Nothing's changed. The only difference here, if you notice, is no option here to render with GPU if available. That option is missing. So let's just change this real quick here. 15. Yeah. And let's see how fast this thing renders. And I will speed it up as well here.
Okay, so as you can clearly see, this is a little slower. Not by much, but it's still slower. So that's an interesting thing. So we did two, two, minutes, and two minutes and 46 seconds and two minutes and 52 seconds. Okay, so let's close out of that. Now, which I told you I can't do NVIDIA on version 14 because it crashes all, crashes all the time. So we're going to do it here. Okay, we open it back up again. And now we're just to verify NVIDIA. File render. That's the template. That's perfectly fine. Doesn't matter the file name. And we'll render. Now at this point, I will fast forward as well. Okay, so we can clearly see that using the NVIDIA card <laughs> is actually slower. And that is one of the tests that I wanted to show you. This is, I, not that's not really that good. So people thinking that, oh, I'm going to get a GTX 1080 Titanium. Well, you know what? That actually may work better. But if you have, this is probably comparable to a GTX 1060. So if you have a 1060 and an RX 580, the RX 580 will win by a lot. No, that's uh, that's a big difference. You know, three minutes and change versus two minutes and change. You know, two minutes and 46 seconds versus three minutes and 09. I'd rather go with AMD. So what I've noticed, because I've been using this program for just over a decade, I've come to the conclusion that it's really optimized for OpenCL. So that's pretty much the, the reason why we're doing this test is to prove that and I clearly did. So you make up your own decision I guess. I would not recommend buying the top of the line GTX uh, 1080 just for re video rendering unless that's you know you're not going to game. I mean that's a gaming CPU. Like I said this is really think about it. An RX 580 is nowhere near the performance level as an RX uh, as a GTX 980 Titanium. There's nowhere there com you can't compare the two in gaming. That is, but in open CL performance, it kicked its ass as you clearly saw. So um, the prices of the open CL open CL cards, the RX 580, 470, 560, 570 cards are crazy because everybody's mining. So that's kind of unfair, but. I recommend using this program with OpenCL and you'll like it a lot. If you have a Threadripper, it'll definitely make a huge difference as well because you clearly saw it, it just did it faster than real time, faster than watching it. Anyway guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care. Creative Labs iRaw. Oh. Plug it in like like this. The inside of this is really impressive. 100A in the Prius. The AC adapter, one amp charger, and it's big and it's made out of aluminum. Okay, as you can see, the backup is complete. Like so. And now you can create the RAID array. I mean. For the, for the price difference between the two.